Welcome to Shooting the Shift with Marilyn and Elizabeth. These light warriors, both native New Yorkers, walk their walk, talk their talk, and keep the real in the deal. This dynamic duo joined forces to assist you through your transformational journey one step at a time, empowering you with spiritual tools you can use in your daily life. Each show begins as a conversation creating an opening for spiritual connection. There are never any scripts, and spirit is always illuminating the way. And that's when the shift hits the fan. The magical messages of the ancestors, spirit guides, and Gaia are respected, honored, and always given sacred space to communicate. Join Marilyn and Elizabeth as they shake shift up and do what they do best. Speak from their hearts. Hello, welcome to Shooting the Shift with Miss Marilyn and Miss Elizabeth. I'm back. She's back. The Yank <laughs> is back. I'm back. I uh, spent a month away, Marilyn, in the UK, and uh, you flew solo. So how did it go, darling? I think it went pretty good, but I really did miss you, though. I really, Aww. really missed you. <laughs> well, it's nice to be missed. Yeah. I'm not going to say I missed you because that wouldn't be true. I missed your <laughs> spirit, but yes. I didn't, I didn't yes. miss a thing uh, much. I did miss my four-footed babies. That's about it. Um, yeah. But I'm really happy to be back here with you. And, you know, we had our little powwow that we have every week yesterday. And, you know, we're always like little split aparts trying to get off and go on with our lives because we're having so much <laughs> time, fun talking. <laughs> So, um, yeah, a lot has happened in a, a, the month that I was gone, and um, we're going to talk about some of that today. Um, so I just wanted to say that my, um, you know, our producer was saying, wow, you're lucky you didn't have any issues with your, your travel or your accommodations because of everything that was going on, and I really was lucky, and I said, I stepped in unicorn poo, and I brought it back with me, so... <laughs> It was meant to be. I had the time of my life. I really did. And today our show is about independence in all ways, not just about America and July 4th, but an independence for ourselves and for the collective. And I went on my trip really completely alone. And I did that on purpose. I didn't go with anybody. I met people along the way. I worked with people along the way. Um my favorite place in the whole wide world right now is Somerset, which is Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. You may have heard out there about the Glastonbury Festival, which really has very little to do with Glastonbury, but it's been on the news because a lot of famous people were singing there. But I climbed to the top of the tour, and that is the heart chakra of the world. And it is, boy, it just blows your heart right open. And I woke up exhausted after studying at Arthur Family for nine days, got up at like 6 a.m. and felt a giant magnet pulling me up to the top of that hill. I'd never been in that town before. I walked through the whole town at 6 a.m. I walked nine miles. I hiked up a hill and I had a life-changing experience that was just filled mm. with love. So that is about all I'm going to tell you about my trip because we could talk about my trip for four shows and I would never shut up. <laughs> But, but it's amazing, it was a right? wonderful, yes, and mm -hmm. it was very necessary, mm -hmm. and I came back feeling very empowered. There were a few little blips in the radar, but everything went so well. The one hook was, was uh, the Supreme Court when it came out. I was in La La Land, and I did not want to hear it. I felt very resistant to what was going on. And just for a minute, I realized, like, I had let all my energy get sucked out of me, and I went to the dark side for about maybe 30 seconds and maybe 30 minutes and reeled myself back in. <laughs> so there is lessons around power and our independence and how we handle things. But for the most part, I feel very blessed. And I knew that the radio was in very good hands, and I knew that you were spreading your wings. And so we were both on adventures, and I'm grateful that you held the space for us while I was gone. Yeah, it was, a, it was really beautiful, right? Because I, I was also holding sacred space for you in your journey. I know saying, you were, darling. Right, I could let feel her, it. Let her feel everything that she needs to feel and release everything and then just re receive all that's there for her, right? Because this is what we do when we go to, 
you know, on, let's say, a spiritual journey, uh, especially to a different country or, you know, a place we've never been before. It's, it's, it's um, feeling the earth underneath your feet and then just anchoring mm -hmm. in and then being able to feel it all uh, through the and amazing body that we have. And I do want to say one more have. thing, Marilyn, that I forgot to say because you're making me think of it. You know, today's show is about independence, and I said I went alone. But the truth of the matter is there's nothing like transplanting yourself into something completely new where you're the only you that you can count on, that that all your bearings, all your things that you know, I mean, like your cell phone, we're so dependent on our cell phone, but it's just you and you are wherever you go. So how you yeah. show up is really about your conscious choice, right? How you're going to show up. But, you know, I was still there, right? In, in my yeah. adventure, the one person that was with me was me. <laughs> yes. So yes. It, it, Experiencing I it recommend all. it. Yes. Yeah. New yeah. eyes, new soil, new turf, the whole thing. You know, even if you just do it for two days, I would highly recommend it because there's so many things about reconnecting to yourself in a new perspective with new eyes and a new heart that really can bring things in. So. Yeah, connect you back to the self, right? Connecting back to the self. And and this is yeah. the journey that we're all on, right? This is the yeah. journey that the collective is really, um, the energetic frequency focus is there, whether mm -hmm. we acknowledge it or not, right? It's about mm -hmm. rediscovering the self. And so what a beautiful way for you to have done that is to venture out and, and, and all by yourself and to feel and to acknowledge who you are in every space that you that you that you visit, right? And with everyone that you encounter. And I also, think that's when you precious. talk about it, think about like the distractions. There's yes. so many distractions in our life that we are not even aware of until we remove ourselves from them, and they're not in our presence. And that was the one thing that I noticed more than anything was I consciously made an effort to be very present wherever I was, even though I didn't want to leave Glastonbury. And I literally felt like my heart was being torn. Part of it was left there. I was present on the next moment in my journey, and I took that with me. But I realized on this trip, one of the biggest lessons for me was how much my energy leaks into things that really don't matter and how I can knock myself out of being in my presence and my power. And that was really clear. And I, you know, I got back, I got a head cold. Thank God it wasn't COVID. I'm fine. I had jet lag up the wazoo and everybody, you know, wanting to talk to me. And, uh, I realized, okay, pull yourself back to the heart chakra, pull yourself back to that place, put yourself in the feel good place, right? It's been a conscious effort to do that since I've been back too, to and it works. Center. And it works, yes. And it works, yes. Yeah. So and, that's the and power I in think the there's practice. a lot of distractions going on right now, which is why I brought that up in this topic of independence and what does independence mean for uh, women? What does independence mean for men? What does independence mean for Americans? What does independence mean for every soul on this planet? And that's why I just want to say this is not about July 4th and independence for America. Right. Our topic is much bigger than that in, and much more personal than just, you know, I, I'll tell you, there's a lot of people in the UK that think America's lost its mind. And I will say, we have lost our way, and I think that that is very true, but I do have hope that with this turmoil and with this shift and with this transformation, we have a lot more power than we maybe are tapping into just right now, and some people are holding space and some people are holding fear, and maybe that's where we find our independence individually, where what yeah, we want. And there's, yeah, and there's such a power, um, you know. I, I work with the energies and the frequencies and, you know, things come in for me in that way. Uh, and a lot of times I might not know um, how to actually define them. But, you know, the more that I, um, the more that I feel the energies, 
without the thinking brain, right? Because mm-hmm. I like to get exactly. the thinking brain out of the way because the thinking brain can take me to too many places that it's I don't really want to visit. It's the distraction. Yes, it's not and the I don't want to visit it. Yeah, I don't yep. want to visit that. So I go and I and I and I acknowledge it. I acknowledge the frequencies. I acknowledge the information that's coming through. And I and 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 then I'm in that place of receiving it in such a way where I can feel very anchored and I can feel very um, accepting of it. And so where at first I have to say that, you know, when all of this is happening, because and you and I speak so much about very different things, right, than we do on the show as well. But, you know, when I'm yeah. receiving the we codes have have and the filter, frequencies, <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm receiving <laughs> these codes and these frequencies and all of this, mm-hmm. sometimes because of the energy um, in the collective, sometimes it comes in and it, it does, um, sh- you know, um, shift me into that thinking brain and processing. And, and then I have to uh, go back into the understanding that I don't need to have all of that information. I just need to um, allow the information that's coming in, right, to shift what is necessary in me so that I can continue to do the work. So, um, you know, because there are those times when you get a little shaken, right? You get a little shaken by the things that are happening because you start thinking about, you know, historically, you know, all the things that have happened, you know, and where we could go. And then there's that moment where I have to catch myself and say, hold on, hold on. Let's sit for a moment. Let's see what's coming through. Let's see. I know, I know that maybe a lot of people that might be listening might not fully understand uh, what I'm about to say, but I know (laughs) that we are in really, really powerful hands. I mean, the Mm -hmm. energy, and I say hands, you know, because it's easier to say hands than frequencies, but frequencies that are really holding um, us in especially you know, everyone who's working in the light to continuously shine it um, as as brilliantly as we can. Um, I've been shown so much and I look at it Mm -hmm. and I go, okay, I'm in a place where Mm -hmm. I say I'm going to understand that it could look very frightening. It can Mm -hmm. look very frightening, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is frightening. It just means that I'm working from an I'm, I'm actually tapping into something that's triggering me from the past or from a past life or something. And, and it's kicking up. And I just need to take a look at it and really dissect it and, and then set it free so that I can move forward. You know, but energetically, I really believe that, you know, we're all going to be we're going to be OK. But we need to also remember that we all play a role and it's an important role that we play which is to be conscious and aware of our thinking and our doing and our being in the world. You know, that we stand up for those who probably cannot stand up for themselves, that we can continuously Mm -hmm. do that, not just to be seen Mm -hmm. doing it, but doing it, whether it's with, you know, in, you know, behind closed doors or, you know, out in the open, that we do that, that we stand in, you know, the energy of, empowering each other Mm -hmm. and not you know and not taking away from others because we all have everything that everything that we want well let's say need right everything that we really need is really accessible to us and when we start to think that somebody is going to come in and take it from us for whatever reason that's when the fears start and that's when the wars start and that's when you know people get really um vicious with each other Right. Mm-hmm. Because they think that somehow they're going to lose something. And it's all purposely placed in that fashion for that very reason. To yes. create chaos and disempowerment and to keep us in fear. Because when we're in fear, we're not empowered. And yeah. so, you know, let's just cut to the chase here. I'm just going to say and I'm going to bite the bullet. Right. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This is not about bashing the masculine. There's a lot of good men out there. This is not about that. But for me, I knew when the giant penis, I'm so sorry, my dog's chiming in. When the, when the giant penis, the phallic symbol of Notre Dame crashed and burned. 
that was the rising of the divine feminine. And if you think about so much of the divine feminine being squashed and being quieted and being disempowered, there's got to be a big eruption. There's just no way. It's got to erupt. And we've got to come into that unison of divine feminine and divine masculine working together instead of the patriarchy, which is big part of the politics of keeping people subservient, keeping people in fear. And that's exactly what's playing out right now. But that's globally. control and that's how you hold exactly. people. That's how you can keep people where you want them, right? If you are in fear, then you then the the the, the, the thing that you do most is to try to take you know, be out of that fear place. You know, that's the important thing to be to be. But when when fear comes knocking at your door, when fear comes knocking at your door, that's when you have the issues, right? Because that's when you get centered and go, "What?" Sorry, yes. I'm cutting you off. No, no, but go ahead. Because yeah, it's just that that's when you gather and you become present and you look at what do I know is true viscerally in my body and my exactly being versus what I'm being shown. You know, everything that you're being shown is for a reason. I feel like there's so much manipulation going on right now. Yeah. Um, and you know, my little inner rebel warrior is like ready to go and ready to fight the good fight. And I know you are too, Marilyn. And you know what? Shit got real and yeah. <laughs> the world is shifting and we need to talk about it. All of us. Our fears, yeah. our doubts, our insecurities, our power. You know, that's a conversation we want to have today. Yeah, so and we're being able to, to shift that. Yeah, we're going to go off to our very first break, but we do want to take calls today or have people call in if for they would sessions. like to. For sessions. Yeah, for many sessions. Or readings. So, yeah, so the number to call in is, I think, um, 202-570-7057. We'll be right yes. back. I'll say it we'll again. We'll be right back. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. So I'm a cat, and I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg rolls showed up, like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. Welcome, Welcome back. back. We're back. Um, so Marilyn, uh, we were going off to a break and I was just going to throw out that phone number again. <clears throat> so people know how to call us. Do you have that number handy? Cause I lost it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So I'll find it. Yeah. So it's 202 570 7057. And that's if you want a mini session or if you want a mini reading okay so yeah. that's so that's yeah. what the call was for okay yeah might want to shift some of that energy 
Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just some of that energy. Get things moving. Get some insights on your next step. I mean, we're not opening up the phone line so everybody can vent their grievances. That's not the point of our show today is, is what I think you're gently trying to say, Marilyn. But, you know, it is our show, and I can say whatever I want to say until they cut me off and take the hook and pull me off the air. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they'll do that, but... I was touched by this beautiful um, poem that I did want to share. And <clears throat> it's just about, I think, showing up and participating. And it's by Allison Nappy. So I thought I would just read that because it really does convey what I feel about our own empowerment and our own calling in a very general way that maybe will resonate with people. So... Bear with me, I am a little bit like a three-legged dog trying to get my fourth leg back with my jet lag and <clears throat> my head cold, but I'm, I'm coming back. Okay, <laughs> here we go. You, who have seen to the edge of the world, you are called. You, who have been set aflame, burned to ash, and resurrected. It is time. You who have heard the trumpet singing your name. You are healed enough to begin. You, whose heart wails in the night, listening to the flashing sky heavy with prayer. You can make a difference. You who speak the language of soul. The deaf are lined up outside your door. You who have flown wild on a blind monster from the underworld into the skies. The dead are waiting for you to use your skeleton key. You who have been, who have made yourself by tracking your own scent through a thousand dimensions of times and spaces, your cosmic duty is upon you and it is love. And when I read that part about the skeleton key, my whole body is flooded with those chills because my ancestors are walking there. <clears throat> so, really powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was really I will post beautiful. that on my Facebook page uh, later today uh, so people can read that if they'd like to revisit it. Um, it's Elizabeth Lindsay, blue hair, street girl. I'm easy to find, I'm public, <laughs> so I don't have any secrets, not on Facebook anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, you know, well, really what resonated with me that so much was the power of the one and the power of the connection to every other one, because we yes. are all interconnected and we are all from the same, right? Yeah. And I will say this probably forever, but, you know, Jesus and Hitler had energy. They used it in very different ways. Forget yes. the religion. Forget, it's not about religion, it's about the energy of the power of how that energy was used. And um, I will always fight for the light. I will, oh, that's why I came here. And sometimes I want to kick my feet up and throw a tantrum and go, I don't want to do this anymore. And of course, you know, that's just me being a brat and it's like, you know, but it's not going to happen because I came here and that's why I came here. So. I do lose my way just like everybody else. I think it's important to say that because yeah. just because you might be feeling disempowered right now or feeding some of the fear, you can turn that around. And it doesn't happen like a light switch. It happens from what you ingest or your eyes or your heart, through your food, through everything, through your being. Yeah, you yeah. practice, right? You practice and you continue to practice. And you continue to practice how it is that you're thinking and how it's changing how you feel and how it's changing who you are in the world. Because that's really important. Because sometimes what happens is that people start to shift and they don't recognize that they're shifting and they're becoming, you know, someone that they probably cannot recognize. And, mm -hmm. you know, in their, because they're feeding themselves you know, so much, you know, it's like if you're feeding yourself all this junk food constantly, mm -hmm. you know, then what are you building? You have to think about what it is that you're listening to, what it is that you're focusing on. Because when you're focusing on something that is toxic, then you are actually growing and because you're feeding it. So you're growing, assisting this toxic energy to continue to grow. 
So when we get angry, I, I, you know, I look at it and I go like this. Anger is good. It's a beautiful fuel. It's I mean, I don't have anything yeah. against anger, but I think it's how you use it. Turn it into something that can create this beautiful momentum of, you know, shifting things, but not with a force, but with love. Because we can do that. But when we do things, when we're trying to shift things, um, let's say from from a place of, you know, I'm going to I'm going to just. I'm going to destroy this or I'm going to take this down or however it is the energy that we're yeah. using. That's the energy that's going out. How could we not have people then afraid of us or afraid of right. the energy that's coming at them? Because then what we're saying to them is, you see, you are right. You see, mm-hmm. you are right. So mm-hmm. sometimes we have to be able to say, no, we can teach people. And sometimes it could take us a long time. Right? Yeah, to help yeah. others to see things differently. And then there also comes a point in time where we have to say, okay, I'm done with this, you know, which, with, with working it with this particular person or group or whatever. And now it's time to move on, you know, to a different, right, energy and see how right. that also can, you know, flourish. Because you don't want to be spinning, you know, yeah. like constantly in this energy without being able to have the momentum that can actually go outward right yeah yeah so let's start with america because i am american i was born american my <laughs> ancestors left the british they were traitors and they <laughs> came over here and you know i love what america stands for in the constitution i love what it says that it stands for i love You know, I think America is a beacon for many, many people in the world. But I also think it's a very disingenuous disconnect to what America and how America was formed. I mean, people can debate this all day long if they want to, but we basically genocide and ruined an entire race to take over and consume. That's what happened. Now we can look at Israel in the Middle East and we can look at Iran in Israel. We can look at all of the wrongs of all the things throughout history where we've all been wronged and somebody's been horribly treated, a family's been ruined, uh, you know, whatever the history is, we can stay stuck in that story and keep throwing rockets at each other until we blow everything up and there's nothing left. Or we can come from a place of this isn't working anymore and we need to figure out what will. And that's really where we're talking about the independence of the world. Because we're so stuck in that story and it's so convoluted and insidious and runs so deep through past lifetimes. Not just this lifetime of being prosecuted, of being killed, of being murdered, of of being on the bad side too, if yes. you believe in karma. Yeah, look, I'm not saying I was my poop doesn't smell and I'm perfect. I'm sure <laughs> I did some really bad things, but it's time for accountability and our own empowerment and our own change of the world is going to come from how do we do things differently, and what really does happen if we come from love instead of hate and righteousness. And we're never going to right those wrongs. It's not going to work that way. If it mm-hmm. did, it would have happened. Yeah, and so, so we can't. Yeah, we can't keep placing the blame and pointing the finger because the more that we do that, the more wreckage we create, and the more hatred is created. And that's why my, you know, you know, we. When I think about things, I go like this, and I say, we have been victims, perpetrators, and saviors. We have yeah. played every single role in this Mm -hmm. lifetime and in every other (laughs) lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. So this is something that if we can understand that this is, this is a part of, you know, what the human, the, the being human means, because when you start to look back in history, and you start to see, you know, uh, all the things that people did to each other, just to Mm -hmm. just to obtain the power. That's right. Because it can do and the control over the people and when we are closing our eyes and when we are separating ourselves 
because there's a system in place that keeps you wanting to continue to blame somebody else and to put other people in that um, place of you are the you're the bad one. You are the one that we can't have because of whatever. You know, we're losing everything because of you. Whatever it is that you're believing, mm -hmm. it's time. Mm -hmm. I really want to say this and I can't stress this enough. These are the moments. This is the time when we have to own our own power and be able to say, not this time, not this right. time. I'm not following you down that rabbit hole. I'm not going That's to right. believe everything that you put out in front of me. I'm going to see my neighbor. I'm going to see, you know, the people that are around me and those who are around me who might think differently. I will listen. I will listen with an open heart, but I, I will also ask for a moment to express my own, you know, way of, of, of being and thinking in the world. These are, these are things that I think that we need to practice and we need to practice them mm -hmm. all the time. Because when we start throwing things at people or saying you're this or you're that or, you know, because you're different or because you think differently. Well, we are creating a war. It's a battle amongst ourselves. And the more fractured that we become, the easier it is for anyone who wants control to come on in and take it because they know how to get us they know how to reach us they're going to tell us well, what yeah. we what we want to hear or what we want to know Yes. They're masterminding it. When you turn on that news, when you turn on anything and you look at it, you have to look at it with objective eyes. Mm -hmm. You have to look at it from the place of presence within yourself. What is true here? What am I being shown? Why am I being shown this? Why is this being shown to me the way it is? I mean, it, it unentrenching yourself from the matrix or whatever word you want to use for the spider web of deceit, greed, and power that is going on is not easy. I mean, if you've tried to unentrench yourself from the family patterns and rise up and change the patterns in your family, which probably most of the people listening to us have, because they probably would be like, I can't listen to those two ladies. They just got nothing to say because they don't get it. It's fine. <laughs> not a judgment. But if you're still yeah. listening to us, you're a part of that collective and that's why I love that piece I read because it is about the love and it's coming back to the realness of you know everybody has a soul everybody has a purpose everybody is yes. valued and I believe in my heart and in my being no matter what anyone ever says to me shows me that until everybody is respected nobody will have freedom nobody will have true independence and and we don't have true independence until we're interconnected with the love and the respect. Yeah, and it starts with us. Exactly. Because if we don't You're respect ourselves and we don't love ourselves and we don't care mm -hmm. enough about ourselves, and this has been the talk, you know, throughout all Since our shows, started. right? Yeah. Since we started, and here we are again in the mm -hmm. same energy of that. And I we will we'll probably continue to speak on this because. We need this to change. We need everyone to start diving inward. We need everyone to start looking at their whys. You know, mm -hmm. why do I think this? You know, or, or why do I feel this way about this? You know, is it because it's real to me? And why is it real to me? Because somebody told me a story or is it because it wakes something up in me? It triggers something. Maybe it's because I've witnessed something and it and it just, you know, I collected this. So I absorb yeah. this energy. Yeah. And maybe it's time for us to say, you know what? I'm listening too much to too much junk mm -hmm. or yeah. or even better yet. I'm listening too much to my side and not listening to the other side. Because right. if we want true information, we have to listen to the other side to understand why they're thinking what they're thinking exactly. and what it is why that's are they going behaving to... the way they're yes. behaving.
what, what is, is going to change it? I mean, when I see it, and uh, so be it. It's like rats bailing a sinking ship. I see a giant foot coming from the sky, and I see cockroaches scattering. And that's what's happening right now. I don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican. I could care less about pub- yep. political parties. It's all so skewed. It's all so corrupt. It's all got a, a motive, right? That's why the whole thing with the guns is going on. 90% of Americans do not want automated rap, um, weapons. And so here we are fighting uh, a small percentage of people with lobbyists, greed, power, and corruption. Hello. So, you know, it's not about the fight. It's about the transformation. And you're being a beacon. You're being centered. You hold that energy. I mean, think about the people that inspire you. For me, it's like Maya Angelou, Mm -hmm. Wayne Dyer, Louise Hay, uh, Oprah Winfrey. The things that Mother Teresa, she's a big one for me. You know, people are going to knock you down. Build it anyway. People are going to rip your ideas to shred. Do them anyway. You know, it's like the good fight. You have to start with you because your little beacon of light is what people feel. Forget the bullshit. Forget the dark side. Forget the distractions, the mirrors, the bells, the whistles. It's the resonancy of how you feel. Yeah. And so that's what we're trying to get to. Right. Allow others to experience you in the world, your energy, your light, because the more that you can put your light out, the more people can tune into their own light. You know, Mm -hmm. this is this is something that I always feel when I'm out in the world, when I go out. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I just go like this and I I I beam, I beam, I beam beam because (laughs) yes, because this is to me. Yeah. To me, it's like I know if we can continue to do this. Uh Then what Mm. happens is that that little spark, you know, that little bit that they felt, even as I'm Mm. on the move, right? Mm. They are connecting with their light. They're connecting with their heart. They're connecting with their soul. Or they're catching a glimpse of Uh, it, enough to go, what was that? Oh, that was different. And then the more they do it, the more they go, oh, I remember, you know. Yeah, or I want some of that. Yeah, how do I get some of that? Or I want some of that. that. What's that? What's that? I want some of that, right? (laughs) How do I live in that more, you know? Yes. It is is layers. It doesn't just, like, switch on like a a light bulb. But, you know, it takes many, many, many abilities and layers of I'm willing to look at this. I'm willing to feel awkward. I'm willing to feel, you know, find your tribe of people that are going to hold that space for you and go, oh, you're a weirdo in a flesh suit too. Come on. <laughs> you're welcome But also, yeah. in doing that, in doing that, I also feel that we do have to be advocates, right? We do yes. have to be advocates. You know, when you when I think back on, you know, the Me Too movement, you know, it played a huge role, you know, in obtaining the required number of states to ratify yes. the yes, ERA. There yes. was a lot and of so, finger wagging in that as well, though, I will yes, say. Yes, like, yes. Okay. But, but it was ratified. And what happened was it did not, it didn't get published. Mm-hmm. It didn't get published. And... That's not okay. And so we mm-hmm. shouldn't let that go. You need to go you need to go into that after the break because you yes. highlighted me <laughs> so much. You highlighted my little wonky human brain Woo-hoo. and you got me thinking yesterday. So I w- I would love for you to tap into that when we come back from our break, Marilyn. Okay. Beautiful. Um yeah, people are probably going, "What is she talking about?" But more <laughs> will be revealed in our last segment. Stay tuned. <laughs> go Marilyn. <laughs> Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free ascendinghearts.com Imagine yourself being transported to India to the banks of the Ganga and an ashram in Rishikesh 
visualize that you are welcome to satsang with an American sannyasi who shares the wisdom of her guru. Your visualization has manifested. Join Satvi Bhagawati Saraswati for inspiration and transformation every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. If I could be you. And you could be me. For just one hour. If you could find a way. To get inside. Each other's mind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. shoes. We've all felt left out. And for some, that feeling lasts more than a moment. We can change that. Learn how at belongingbeginswithus.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome back, everybody. So, yeah, I was talking about the how the Me Too movement uh, played a huge role, right, in obtaining the required number of states to um, ratify the um, Equal Rights Amendment. And um, I think, I want to say, maybe it was around 2017. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you know, because I'm not a history buff, and I don't really, uh, I don't really stay up yeah. to Let's with just all say that we're stuff. We're not politicians, and we're not. Yeah. This isn't about specific <laughs> facts. Do your own yes. research. Yeah, others can research and see because you know this is part of you know sometimes where I go researching because I need to find out certain information because yeah, that's what happens to me. But you know, under the instruction from the Trump administration's Justice Department, the National Archives and Records Administration declined to publish the ERA to the Constitution despite achieving the necessary steps. And that's what I found, right? And I also know that the Congress has the right and the power to extend the deadline to the ERA that was ratified by 38 states. So, you know, this this is something that I think that we shouldn't give up right on. I don't believe that we should ever give up on, uh, um, you know, women's equal rights because we have a right like everyone else to have equal rights. And and for that, I'm not I'm not political, (laughs) but I'm political around this because I I believe that no one. Yes, because no one should say to another that no nope, you're not equal to me and you know what the rights that i might have you can't have that's you know right. if you have the right to your autonomy i have the right to my autonomy too so that's, that's right. something that i feel is just unjust and you know uh, we need to not lose the momentum of this i think we need mm-hmm. to you know uh keep this alive because the Me Too movement did create this momentum. And I think that, and it, and it really should have, right? Because by right, yes, because of all so. the horrific stories and it was, they weren't made up, these were real. And even though mm-hmm. there were so many people denying it, you know, uh, it's, it's real. And it's happening. Well, what are they so afraid of? I mean, honest to God. I mean, I think it's not that they're afraid that we're going to. I mean, I think they're afraid we're going to have power over them versus power over ourselves. And that's not what we're wanting. Women, as a general rule, are not warmongers. We do not go, let's shoot them up and fight them up, you know? We give birth to our children. We give birth to our sons and daughters. (laughs) Sons and daughters, daughters. right? We. It's exactly. And so it's 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 about uh, that divine balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And, you know, I don't know my history. I'm not going to go into a history exam, but, Mm -hmm. you know, there were civilizations where women were dominant and I'm sure that men were treated subservient and it's playing out again in a different way in a mirror. But until we have that duality and that respect for all beings, we're never going to find that yeah. equal balance unless we are the beacons and admitting that yes. one step at a time. And it's balancing the masculine and the feminine in ourselves. Here That's we go right. again, right? Mm-hmm. Again, it all comes back to the self. It all comes mm-hmm. back to the self. If we can right get to the place where we can rediscover the self and understand that we have both masculine and feminine energies within us and sometimes we need to balance them out 
so that we can feel the balance as a collective. So this is an individual job. This is not me, you know, doing the work for you. This is you Mm -hmm. doing the work for you. We have to Mm -hmm. be invested in our own ability to balance those energies, Mm -hmm. right? This is and to how, heal, this is how I feel. And to heal things within ourselves. I mean, yes. when we look at these, you know, people in pain cause pain. People yes. in pain hurt people. People in pain hurt themselves. And so when we can come from a place layer by layer where we look at where where what's missing, what's wounded, where can I come, you know, but when I look at my own personal growth, this gives me great hope because 15 years ago, I would just react like a crazy person. You know, I would just be defensive. I would, you know, lash out. I've got my native New Yorker attitude, you know, I'm ready to go. Um, but now I can step back. I can come into myself and I love my warrior. Do not get me wrong. She served me well as a young girl and a crone that's where i'm headed i'm the crone now yep. welcome to my wrinkles and my wobbly butt <laughs> and my wisdom <laughs> in my heart i've earned so you know it's okay but the the truth of the matter is for me when i look at how much i've grown and how i react and i still have so far to go you know Ooh, we yeah, all me do too. but you start with that one wound and you do what you can, where you can, and you find those pockets. You find your Mother Teresa or your Maya Angelou or whoever resonates with you that yeah. feeds your fire in your belly. Right? Who can That's help you the to, fire. To, yeah, who can help you to, to empower yourself, to inspire yourself, to be able to be in that place where, you know, someone else is holding safe, sacred space for you, where you can say, wow, this feels what? true to my inner power. This feels true to me it feels it's landing i i resonate with this i'm gonna i'm gonna take this yes yes this is good because i feel really good now if we're bringing something in that doesn't feel really good don't take it don't take it let it go the more garbage we continue to collect then come on the more garbage we i mean look at what we learned when i learned in school is like Forget it. It's like a la la land on acid. I mean, this is not the truth. I remember when I was a little girl, I made one of those diorama kits out of paper mache, and it was how the Pueblos mm-hmm. lived. And I remember at that time, I don't know, maybe I was 10, 11, but I don't remember a lot of my memories. And I remember feeling so empowered for those people because they all got along and they all shared everything, blah, blah, blah. You know, that was real more real than any textbook I had looked at. We have been so skewed and manipulated. If there's one thing I could say is like, you don't just open the curtain a little. You don't need to open it and go, oh my God. You can just open it a crack. You don't want to shock yourself. Let me pee. Right? Yeah. You don't (laughs) want to go through a shock, right? Because that's too hard. But little by little, little by little, if we practice, if we practice, and I keep saying Mm -hmm. we have to practice, we -hmm. have to practice being mindful, we have to practice what it is that we're sitting to listen, what it is that we're feeding ourselves. And our vision of what we want, what do we ultimately want, that's where I really want to get to ending this show today, Marilyn, is holding the vision of what we want, the residency of how we want to feel. And yes, right now we are talking about women because of this big decision that was made, but how do I want to feel as a human being about the planet I'm living in? And it does start with America. We are in a huge Pluto return right now, which everything could go south because everything we based it on is a lie. And so something has... We have to shake, shift up, and that's what we're doing. And so it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be ugly. It's going to erupt, and we're here. Hello, welcome. Here we are in the shift. Yeah, Yeah. and this is Uh, about, right? And this is about, and, you know, when you start to think about, um, I don't think it's an accident that we started the radio show when we started it. I don't think it's an mm-hmm. accident that we got shooting the shift. I don't think mm-hmm. it's an accident that we got the song behind behind yes. the, breakthrough. the breakthrough. I don't think so. I know that spirit always leads us into the right 
energies. And I think that for those who are listening, you know, because we I don't even know who's opening, listening. Those but who I'm are thankful opening. and grateful for those who are listening that mm-hmm. might be even opening a little bit or even mm-hmm. saying, Oh yeah, this is my tr- these are my tribe, right? This is mm-hmm. what I what I've been wanting to hear because I can hear the energy. I can hear the frequency there. Can I can the, feel the light waves, the right? Resonance. I can feel this. Yeah. yeah. And so that's important because we, and, and, and yeah, practicing your vision, like you said, being able to witness it out there as well. Look for it. Focus yeah. on it. Look for it wherever you go. OK, let me say something, because you are the woo woo girl and you are the girls and the energies and the and the drawings and the swirls and the twirls. And, and I'm more a knower, a sensor. Right. I'm not like I, I have spidey senses. I feel things, but I'm not a Reiki master. I'm not going to heal you like that. That's not my gift. I'm not saying I'm not gifted. It's just not my gift. So when I got to the top of the world and I got to that heart chakra and that thing Mm. magnetized me to the top of the world and there were only like three people up on that hill and they were all there for a reason. I'll tell you that because usually there's Kumbaya and 20,000 people and it was very early and very empty. But I knew more than anything and in my life what I felt in my being the frequency of that heart chakra. Mm. I will never be able to convey (laughs) to anybody else, but I know that. And that is my truth, right? It is in that love heart space that we are going to heal the world. There's no other way to do that. Yes, that's no, why I just it's opening had to get the heart. That out. I feel like I'm preaching Ooh. now. Yeah, but, but you, know, you know, it's opening the heart and feeling it, it and experiencing is. it for the first, almost, it feels like for the first time in a long time. Because it's because so the pure. Heart, yeah, the heart was wide open when we came in. It was that's wide right. open, you know, and it's so important to just continue to say, you know, trust your process, trust your process. Look for the good in the world. Be the, Be good, in the, the good in the world, right? Ooh, right. ooh, we got that That's both right. at the same time, right? So be the yep. good in the world because be it matters. Mm-hmm. Yes, it matters. So if you see someone who needs something, don't turn your back. Help them. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't say, don't become judgmental about what they could do or what they should do or why aren't they doing it. We don't know. And that's not important. You're never going to know. You're never going to know. And it's not important. You can't see them. No. Yeah, and it's not important and it doesn't matter. What matters is who you are in that moment. It's who you are in that moment. Back to Mama Maya, people will forget, you know, everything but how you made them feel right yes they will yes. not forget how you made them feel and it, it yeah. really does come back to that the residency of how it feels and that's why and the emotion the emotions are so um how do you say um they're so optimized right when you have an experience and you're you're triggered the emotional piece is the piece that comes out first right because what it, what's triggered it's that old experience from a, a not, you know from the past that took you and just yeah, could electrify even be five you lifetimes ago whether you yes. believe in that or not i mean yeah w- yes there's a <laughs> lot of layers to this yeah so we got to do the work we have to be but in uh-huh. order to do the work we have to be present in our life we have to be mindful. We have to want to. You have to yes. want to. Because Intention if you don't want to, it's not going to happen. Yeah. If you don't want yeah. to, then forget it. It's not It's not going to happen for you. You know, and I'm, what I'm going to say is this, you know, um, there, you know, we're all going through whatever um, uh, energetic uh, movements it is that we're moving through. And mm-hmm. we're all going to be um, deciding what it is that we're going to choose. That's and how it is that well, we're going to choose. We are every day when we show up. Every day when we, when we wake up and open our eyes, you know, we have a choice. How yes. am I going to show up? Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm a, I am a fighter. And I, it took me a long time to see that my fight can be for the good. And there's a lot I needed to remove, heal, and repair so I could open my heart up. But I'm still a fighter. 
I'm yeah. still a warrior. Yeah. And I, I know I am not the woo-woo sappy girl. I am the warrior of love. And I know how woo-woo and sappy that sounds. But it is so true. But and it feels that, so I know good. This. It feels so good. And I don't, you know, right? at this point, I really don't care what anybody else thinks because I know the truth in my heart, in my being yeah. of what we're supposed to feel. Yeah. And you see and what you said, and I don't care mm-hmm. what anybody else thinks. It's what I know. That's exactly. where you need to be because when you're worrying about how somebody else is going to uh, see you or experience you, Filter, um, yeah. then that starts to take something away from you that that you don't yeah. want to be taken, right? It's Your not important. Bits of empowerment. Yeah, I want to shine. I want to keep. I want to inspire. I want to empower. I want to. Do I want to keep what my heart I came open. Here to do. Yeah, I want to keep my, my heart, heart open. And wide every open. time I feel that little wrench, yeah. <laughs> that little pen, I'm going to go, no, no, not this time. This time I know I'm going to be okay and I'm going to keep that yes. heart open because yes. that's where my power is exactly. for the world, not just yeah. for me. Yeah. You know? If you close but your of heart, it's how about much work can too. you do? <laughs> yeah, but if you close your heart. Human. Yes. How much work can you do with a closed it heart? Can't. Not much. Not much. No, so if you keep it, it wide work. open and you say it's okay, I know I might get hurt through this, or I might, I know that you know maybe it might not be you know uh, as beautiful as I would want it to be. Yeah. But that's okay because I'm not going to close my heart down again no. simply because I don't want to feel. I want that's to cool. feel everything so that I can. Um, you know, vibrate in the energy of pure divine love. We are ancient divine souls. We are not separate from God, Spirit, Source, Mother Gaia. We are a part of. And when you know that in your being, you, you're an eternal soul. Yeah. And um, so that's it. I mean, I've done my part talking today. <laughs> Sharing <laughs> so, you my know, heart. You can- so you can reach me at universalsacredmedicine.com or my reach. Instagram, Marilyn Maldonado IG. And you can just find me at Elizabeth Lindsay on Facebook or Angel with an Edge. Big yeah. love. Keep your heart open. Peace and blessings. Yeah. Blessings, love and light to all. Mm. Whew.